You're probably wondering why cowboys wear big belt buckles. Well, the short answer is rodeo. To learn more, keep watching. Hello, cowboys and cowgirls. On my channel, I talk about cowboy history, culture, related issues, and more. So if that interests you, please go down and hit the subscribe button so that you can get my future videos. In the early days of the American cowboy, cowhands seldom wore belts because Britchens, the high-waisted pants that they wore in the day, were held up by suspenders. It was not until Levi Strauss invented jeans in the 1870s that it really became practical for cowboys to wear belts. And it was not until rodeos started to give away buckles as trophies in the 1920s that the modern day cowboy belt buckle came to be. You see, in those days, the contestants of rodeos were professional cowhands instead of the professional athletes that we see in all the big rodeos today. These cowboys, once they won belt buckles, would take them back home to their home range and sport them off. And other hands, wanting to be like the best, started wearing buckles similar to those of the rodeo winners. And it gained popularity into the 1940s. Today, you see belt buckles with anything from western themes on them to your favorite video game character. Now, just like with anything in style, there's certain rules that you should probably follow if you want to wear a western belt buckle. Number one, consider the environment that you want to wear a particular belt buckle in. For example, it would probably not be a good idea for you to wear your favorite Confederate belt buckle in Compton, California. Number two, don't wear a trophy belt buckle that you haven't earned because this is disrespectful, dishonest, and unethical. There was a cowboy who spent a lot of time and money practicing, traveling, and competing to earn that belt buckle, and he did not win it so that you could wear it. And if you decide to do so, it's going to be pretty awkward for you when someone finds out. Probably awkward enough that you'll wish that you have been uh, booked in the building behind me with Butch Cassidy as your cellmate. And professional buckle makers know this too. They will not make a buckle for someone that they cannot prove that they have earned because they have their reputation to uphold. The only exception to this may be whenever a son wears his father's belt buckle to an event. This is done for good luck, as a symbol of wanting to become like dad, and with no pretense that the boy has in fact won the belt buckle given that it probably predates him by at least a couple of years. So if you want to wear a belt with a western belt buckle the first thing you need to get yourself is a good belt. I got this one from Pronghorn Prairie Company. They're good friends of mine and they make a really good belt for $30. I'll leave a link down in the description and they aren't paying me for this and then you need to get yourself a belt buckle now with pronghorns belts you have to use a screwdriver to get these little screws off he likes to screw them in tight
Don't lose the little nuts. Take the original buckle out. Please like, share, subscribe, and keep cowboy traditions alive. Thanks for watching, y'all.